Qualitative Risk Analysis Tools, Definition and Examples Risks can be defined as uncertain events or conditions that have the potential to impact one or more project objectives. Qualitative risk analysis is the process of evaluating individual project risks considering their probability of occurrences and impacts. As a result of analysis groups, project risks can be classified into three groups according to their degree of impact which are low, medium, and high. The probability of risk can be graded using numbers 0 to 1 or percentages percent 0 percent 100. So, why do we use quantitative risk analysis? Prioritize risks according to probability and impact, identify the main areas of risk exposure, improve understanding of project risks. Types of qualitative risk analysis. The five most common types of analysis are, 1. Probability, consequence matrix, 2. Bow tie analysis, 3. Delphi technique, 4. Swift analysis, 5. Pareto principle. Qualitative risk analysis process. Identifying risks, impact analysis, risk treatment, review and monitor. Identifying risks. Risk identification is arguably the most important part of qualitative risk analysis. If you fail to identify risks ahead of time, it will be challenging to manage them. Impact analysis. The next step is to consider the potential impacts of the identified risks. Risk treatment. This can be performed in many different ways depending on your INDUS TL or process. These are the strategies to deal with identified risks. Accept, mitigate, exploit, transfer, avoid. Review and monitor. As the project progresses, it is essential to keep risk logs updated. During the course of the project, some risks will disappear, while others might increase in likelihood. Risk assessment matrix. A risk assessment matrix is a useful tool that helps you to rate project risks as low, medium, high, very high. You can start by defining the rating scales for probability and impact to use that tool. Here is an example probability scale. Here is an example impact scale. 5 is the highest probability and impact. Multiplying probability by impact gives us a risk score. For instance, if the probability of a risk is 4 and its impact is 5, then the risk score will be 4 times 5. This tool can be applied to both positive and negative risks while performing qualitative risk analysis. Qualitative risk management is a key component in the Risk Professionals Toolkit. It enables rapid prioritization of risks to help teams to achieve project objectives.